Hello and welcome to City Bound. I'm your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, aka Swifty Spider, aka Architect Net, depending on where you find me. And today we have a new build. Uh, I was tooling around on Reddit, and um, our humble creator, Anselm, I uh, was it, uh, Ikoff. Yeah, right. Ikoff is how you say it. Anselm Ikoff. So. Uh, he he has done an update to the game, and I'll let you read his Reddit post on your own. But um, he also mentioned uh, me and how my uh, video, my last video, uh, did some user interface improvements. And so I thought I'd check the game out, see how it goes. Um, and I have no idea what it's going to look like. But uh, let's jump into it, shall we? So I've gone ahead and downloaded the latest version of CityBound. And um, I need to go here to the local host uh, right here. So I'm going to copy that, go over to Chrome, Google Chrome, and I'm going to paste that in. And press Enter. And now I'm in CityBound, okay? Now go ahead and maximize this. Um, machine ID 1 connected. All right, fantastic. So. Um, let's take a look at what we got here. I got to remember the controls too, right? Because, uh, holy cow, they're different. And I've been, I've been playing city sky, cities, skylines all day long. So I'm very accustomed to that, um, scheme, uh, that control scheme. So let's go back to the tutorial here and go through it. It doesn't look like much was changed here. Um, anything about the credits? I think the credits seem to be mostly the same. Um, uh, cities I've developed city bound in. He, I think, I think he added that because of, <laughs> of what I was saying. So he's been in Munich. Oh, <laughs> uh, something, it just popped, it just went away. Look at all those, uh, wonderful people that have helped us, uh, make this game. Okay. Munich, St. Petersburg. I can't even pronounce that, okay? Like, are you kidding me? I think he's just trying to mess with me with that. Um, uh, I'm going to try the Reykjavik. Reykjavik? Um, Bangkok, Singapore, Dinspar. I don't even know where Dinspar I've never heard of that. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, Boston. You're in America now, dude? Like, seriously? we got to meet up. Um, wow. Talk about a globe trotter. Uh, quite interesting there. Okay, so let's go back up. Um, settings and controls. I'm not going to mess with this at all because the last time I did it, it broke the game. Um, and I want to at least try and, and play the game again. So, tutorial. Please note this tutorial is super bare bones still. Um, click on the pencil and go into planning mode. Start new project. Okay, great. Uh, project E91. Now we're going to go to zoning, and there's roads. Okay. Um, go to the road planning mode by clicking on the road icon, which I see now. Uh, start a new road by clicking on the map and continue to click to add nodes. To finish a road, double-click when placing the last node. You can move control points of existing points around, but nothing more yet. Delete, extend, road yet. You can't do that yet. Okay. Roads that lead further away automatically get a neighboring town connection. Okay. So let's do this. And I believe I have to press shift and that'll move it around. Or was it control or alt? Okay. None of that is working. Um, so let's see if I can just... I'm just going to click some roads in and I believe the last time you see it's still a little jinky there I couldn't um, self intersect so um, I had to go to a separate road in order to intersect and I'm, I'm willing to bet that that hasn't been changed because I think he just changed some user interface stuff I don't think he changed the roads yet so I'm going to go like that and I'm going to double click and now I'm done got a really funky shape there I don't know what I'm doing here um, click here 
curve it around. I wonder if I can meet up with this existing one yet. Um, I'm sure we'll be able to do that eventually, right? But can I do that now? No. That just creates uh, issues. Hmm. And look, I think I got a neighboring connection here. So let's do something like this now. Just throw it. Or really try and break this thing, right? So we're put a really fancy intersection in there with six nodes essentially or six directions. Okay. And we'll do one that's like right through here. Like that. Okay, and now let's go to zoning. All right, so we got residential, we have commercial, we have industrial, agricultural, recreational, and official. Now, I'll be honest with you, uh, official kind of gets me confused. Does that mean offices, um, or does it mean like the city hall and stuff? If I'm going by the icon here, I gotta go with like this means like city hall and government buildings, that kind of thing. That's what I'm guessing based on the icon there. Um, but that it is a bit confusing to to my my American ears at least. Um, I don't know if it's more obvious in other languages or other countries that speak English, I should say. Okay, so we're gonna go with. Um, residential here and let's click around these roads here and I'm gonna make this all like a neighborhood This is actually, it's it's relatively simple. I think um, later in the in the development, I would love to be able to see like an auto fill feature where I could just click on here and click, uh, or maybe like right click in the center of this enclosed area here and it just auto fill the entire area without me having to do too much work. Um, I'm gonna double click right there. You know, so I could just, Click there, right click there, and bam, that area is filled. And right click there, right click there, right click there, and you know I could I could really get going really quickly. Um, uh oh, do I already have it? Here, well, we'll go ahead and maybe stick it right here, like that. Okay, now let's go ahead. Let's get commercial here. I didn't. I don't remember if commercial was working last time or not. Um, but we're gonna maybe start over here, come around this way. something like that um okay and then uh some more feedback this is just one man's opinion i'll be honest with you i'm not i don't like to have to double click to to undo it i mean i don't know i wonder is that because when i right click it's it the browser overrides so there's no right clicking um that really limits your options i guess uh i guess you could always do like a control click or an alt click and that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, I don't understand the limitations of it, but it is a little bit, I don't know, clunky. I don't say that to be mean. I just say that to give you my opinion. 
and other people probably disagree with me, call me an idiot, and they are probably right. Um, and okay, industrial here. Um, so we'll just make a really big, broad industrial brush here now. I will say this is nice that it's it's really quick to when you're not trying to be detailed. And you can just like slap that in real nice and quick. Okay. Just like that. All right, and then let's uh let's get this thing going. So, I right, speed it up to 32. Oh, I need to implement. Let's implement. Uh-oh, what happened? Did it break? Uh-oh. What does this say? Member prototype, and then it has a number there, already exists in grid. And it gives me that feedback. Oh, but look, it is working. Okay, I didn't break it. I thought I had broken it. I'm glad I didn't. I still don't... I uh, have a good handle on how do I move how do I move around implementing projects for other steps um I thought I, you press shift and you can move around but it's not working control alt I don't know how to move around can I push the middle mouse button and zoom in and out at least do that but it doesn't pan when you click the middle mouse button um there's a pan just by clicking no. What about a shift click? No. So I'm still having trouble with uh, being able to navigate. Um, is rotation in the game yet? I don't know. So let's keep on talking about. So shortcuts aren't checked, causing UI crashes. Server crashes when typing to plan some probably really weird road. All right, we got our first people going somewhere. So he went around like this and then came back. So they're not able to turn left there for some reason, um, which is a bit of a weird quirk. I'm, and I, I, I knew that this intersection would probably break things. It's not quite working right, um, which is fine. Uh, I think there's plenty of time to get that going. Again, I gotta, I gotta give you credit though, buddy. Um, these, I mean, look at that. Look at that perfect plot. And all you did was basically put a fence on the border, but it makes it a perfect plot. The trees stay in place, so that the trees don't move. And I love that about this game. I really love that about this game. Um, You know, and, I, and I'm sure, like, as the game progresses, you're going to have different uh, lot types. And, you'll, you know, could you imagine, instead of that being a fence that it's a, you know, 20 or 30 story building, um, much in the vein of, like, the, uh, what is it, the Iron Works building in New York, was it? Man, it's, it, it is, it's almost one in the morning. It's way too late for me to be able, trying to think. Back to my architecture school days. Oh. Yeah, I have a degree in architecture, by the way. A couple of them, actually. Um, but it's iron something or another building. Man, I can't. I'm. I'm gonna. It's gonna bother me. But this thing seems to be working a lot smoother to me. It's not crashed yet. Let's see what else we got. Um, so we still need to gesture point. Adding, remove, splitting. I don't know what that means. Add controls for road width. That would be awesome. Um, implement rendering of all 3D elements for the browser user interface. Re-implement inspection user interface for buildings and households. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so there's an inspection here. Let's take a look at this. Let's get in on this. So family house, okay, we got money, nine, groceries, 21, uh, member zero versus member one instead of, I think what you were saying uh, in your post was like, you'd have it as Peter zero and Peter one, 
and Peter too, or or whatever it is, which I found funny because my son's named Peter. Um, currently sleeping at Family Eleven. Well, uh, okay, so we got Member Zero, and they're sleeping over at Family Eleven. Oh, no, this is Family Eleven. Okay, um, cause it's Building Eight, but it's Family Eleven, which that's a little confusing, I guess. But I guess it'll make sense because these won't always just be numbers. They'll be like there'll be names to it or something like that. Okay, wakefulness, satiety. Uh, I don't think I can click on like the person yet to go see them. Okay, so when I hover, it'll come up. I can click and it'll stay. And then I gotta X out that way. I can't just click off of it. Uh oh, did I break something? Could not find actor transport pathfinding. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Okay, so I think I broke inspection. Did I break inspection? I think I broke inspection. Um, that being said, the car seemed like they were still working, so I didn't completely break the game. I just kind of, sort of, a little bit broke the game. Um, all right, so, uh, you know, there's not a... From, what, from my untrained eyes, it wasn't a whole lot different from the last time I played. Um, it did seem like it ran a little bit smoother. I did notice, you know, uh, this was a little bit more obvious to me, so... Good on you for fixing that. That that was more obvious. Um, let's see. Can we go ahead and maybe build some agricultural here? Implement that new change and see how it goes. And again, I got this going at max speed. I'm also I'm rendering a video right now, so uh, you know this is not taking a lot of my computer. This is running really smooth in that sense that there's there's not much to it, it's a very light footprint right now, um, and so I got to give you credit for that, buddy. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, let's take a look at this. Control Alt Delete. We'll do the Task Manager. Um, did that just totally like ruin the the video feed for a second there? So I got my Task Manager here, really showing you my underbelly here. And as you can see, I'm I'm rendering, and that's really taking the most most of my stuff. Um, Google Chrome, which I imagine is actually the game. Um, Google Chrome is still taking up a, a, a decent amount but look it's only taking up 15% uh, of my CPU um, it's not taking up hardly any memory at all certainly not compared to what this beast is doing um, and yeah it's 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 taking up some power usage but that's no big deal to me um, so that's a pretty light footprint as far as I'm concerned I mean I don't know much about anything, right? I just know how to play games and uh, I design buildings. But uh, besides that, man, uh, I think it looks good. Oh, look at that. So look at these really interesting... It's like a, an interesting wedge there now. If I go back to here... Uh-oh, can I? Go to inspection mode. Not letting me. I noticed how uh, it was like, okay, here's something I just noticed. Uh, when it first popped up, it was like dirt. I didn't notice any plow lines or anything, but now, after a little while in the game, it, something is now growing. It's green. So look at there. It looks like it's just kind of like dirt. And if we watch long enough, I bet you that's going to turn green as well. So the question I have is, this these wedges seem kind of weird. Wouldn't you have like a plot of land that would be more like like that and then maybe like this or something? I don't know. 
the way it's being divided seems a bit odd to me. Um, that would be something that uh, maybe needs to be addressed at some point in the future. I'm also noticing we are we having some overlap of buildings. Is that I can't tell because I can't I can't pan to save my life. Um, don't know how to pan. I seem to remember reading about that the first time around, but uh, settings and controls. Okay, okay. Um, the pan. Oh, he just changed it to the arrow keys. Now, is it W A S D? No. Oh, but look here. It is just the regular arrow keys. Hey, okay. So, there we go. Now I can pan. I feel better now. Okay. But I can't inspect anymore. I don't know why my inspect is broken. Um, let's go back. Is there a way to bring that back up? Okay, I want to see. Is there a way to rotate? Um, rotate with mouse? Space. Okay. Oh, look. He did. He changed it to the space bar instead of a shift key. Okay. All right. Um... <laughs> See, I got I, you already trained me the other way, <laughs> and that confused me. Okay, great. So we finally m made it back to to good there, but that's not rotate; that's panning. Um. So that that's not quite there. That would be panning, right? Pan with mouse space, rotate with mouse space. Hmm. Something not adding up there. Okay. So, maybe if I hold down space and I right click? No. Nope, that doesn't do anything. If I hold down space and I zoom in and out? Nope, that's not rotating. Yeah. Maybe rotation hasn't been implemented yet. I don't know. Um. So, let's take a look here. Now, I love this. Look at this. It is following the, the, the rows here, so that plot looks really interesting. These do look kind of odd to me, though. Um, and living in a very... Uh, so, that I live in the city of Lubbock, and so it, I, I'm in a city, but um, the city of Lubbock doesn't really have any suburbs. Uh, maybe one suburb, uh, Wolforth. And then outside of Wolforth and Lubbock... It's really just a bunch of farmland. Uh, agriculture is one of our number one economic drivers in the city besides healthcare and the university, Texas Tech. And so um, looking at all the farm fields around where I live, I've never seen a farm field shaped like this. Uh, granted that most of the area is on a grid of some sort or anyway, but even if they had this plot of land the way it would work is um, at some point they would just uh, kind of do a, a circle there and this triangle here or this area here would just be unused. Um, what they might do is they might choose to take that and use it as like a pond uh, like a, or a playa lake um, to retain water uh, when it rained, that sort of thing. Um, uh, but otherwise, I, and, and look, look, I'm, I realize this is really early on in the game. It's way too early to be nitpicking on crap like that. So on the one hand, take it as, you know, this is what I'm seeing. But on the other hand, like, keep doing what you're doing. Don't, don't start changing your whole setup just because of what's going on here, okay? Um, let's look at, let's look at uh, over here, okay? Because we got some more funkiness here. <laughs> Like, look at these plots. Oh, man. Um, this this guy, he must have moved in first because he kind of screwed everybody else over with his plot. <laughs> right? So, yeah, I do see, I do see uh, the geometry is, and look at the geometry right there is starting. There, I, I have found limits. I have definitely found some limits. I know that there'll be refinement in the future, and I'm look for, looking forward to that. Um, I do find it odd 
the way this looks though it almost looks like there was a residential building that just got shoved uh on into and is uh uh coplanar with or not coplanar but coexisting with uh, a, a commercial building i do like the little addition of the windows here there's something about that that just looks more gives it a little bit of depth um that you don't get with these little windows here on the the residential housing I'm not seeing as much traffic as I did last time. I wonder if that's because I've broken the traffic. Take a look here. All right, look, we got we got a lot more. Still, member blank, uh, member, member prototype ID already exists in grid. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe that's what this is all about here. I don't know. And we got a couple. Could not find actor transport. Oh look, here's the here's the cars. I was just at a bad time of night. I was in the middle of the night. Okay, let's look at the traffic. Let me nitpick on your traffic a little bit here. I want to slow it down a little bit, actually. Ah, uh, I think I waited a little bit too long, but let's go four times. To me, this seems like uh, it's really one. One seems a little bit slow motion. Just the feel of it, you know, the gest my gestalt looking at it. I love that little S-curve there. They all seem to stop too long uh, for... For that intersection. Certainly ain't driving like me and my wife. <laughs> right, I want to see what happens if I start to try and okay. I, I want to say okay. I want I now I got the zoning here. Now I'm gonna come through with a wrecking ball. I'm gonna. Just plow right through like that. I'm going to implement that and see what that does. So, actually, did a pretty good job of dynamically dividing up the zone here. Uh, just created new plots. I, I do find that to be a bit unrealistic, in that, you know, there would probably be some, you know, time where the plot would look different or something like that um, again realizing that it's early on and that's probably just about uh, a lack of you know I'm, I'm asking for something that's going to be coming down the road it'll be interesting what this little plot will look like it seems like these would be like this would be bigger like you divided about here I wonder if you could at some point give us some control over where the plat the platting how the platting is done um, you know, I'd love to, to be able to control that. I mean, if I'm thinking about, you know, how cities actually do this, including the city of Lubbock, uh, if no other, which I have a lot of experience, or I say a lot, uh, for, for a layman person, for somebody that's not doing a lot of, uh, actual business at City Hall all the time or something like that. I actually have some experience with the plat maps here in town and stuff like that. And I have no idea how this works outside of the country and probably even in other states of the United States for that matter. But when you're platting, um, you know, they basically, they, they will control where the plat is um, and uh, draw it up. And so let's, let's say they got a big... Uh, developer here in town the developer would buy this whole plot of land here and then he would create a master plan that uh, you know if he was going to do a big na residential neighborhood he created a master plan and he's going to send it over to the city and the city will look at it and say yeah that's great and part of that plan they're gonna he's gonna delineate where he's gonna put his little roads 
and he's going to delineate uh, where the alleys are because we have alleys here in this city and uh, if there's a park and if there is a park who's going to be in charge of the maintenance for that is it going to have to be the city or will his company do that that kind of thing um all that stuff is is pre-planned before anything is done and then once it's approved and it goes into place they they all have the plat map already done before any ground is broken um and I'd love to be able to, as a city, if the city saw this and this was his suggestion or, or his submittal, um, they would have said, yeah, no, buddy, you got to rethink this. This is not following guidelines because this guy's too big and this guy's too small, so you're going to have to move that around. So uh, all of that is a very roundabout way of saying, I wish I could maybe somehow uh, grab the... Uh, borders and be able to manipulate them to do what I want them to do to make if there's an odd shape um, you know let let the game do what it does like you already have but like right here if I say oh you know what I want to just grab that node there and pull that back and you know be able to manipulate the the nodes and the segments up accordingly so that I can I can make this look the way I want it to look. Um, and talking uh, game philosophy here for a little bit, again, this is all just one guy's opinion, but, you know, what I remember is um, I've been playing City Builder since SimCity 2000. Um, I played SimCity 2000 extensively. Um, I even had a, one class in high school that was like a, a STEM engineering, a pre-architecture type class, and uh, one of the assignments was to make a working city in SimCity 2000. Um, you know, it was a very minor grade for that whole thing. You know, we also built a, a bunch of other stuff that was really cool. But um, you know, I went SimCity 2000. I played SimCity 3000. I remember that. My cousin Vinny. I still remember the cheat. My cousin Vinny. Um, and you get some money from uh, your uh, your your cousin from New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta make an offer. You ne you can't never refuse. Okay. And uh, then you go to SimCity Four, and SimCity Four was just a stellar game, and you ha and that's where the modding community came from. And a lot of the modding community that's in City Skylines now is definitely derived from are the same people that uh, were modding SimCity Four. And, you know, Maxis and EA, they came along with SimCity 2013, and there was also SimCity Societies in there. I don't, that's the, that's the SimCity that nobody ever talks about because it really was a wholly different animal. Um, you know, it was nothing but plopping, and it was very small scale, and it was very cartoony. Nobody liked it. Uh, I, I wouldn't say nobody. There's, there's people out there that enjoyed that game, I'm sure, but... It's not like you had people in droves going from SimCity 4 to SimCity Societies. And then SimCity 2013 came out, and part of it was mismanaged expectations. I think they had a vision of what they wanted the game to be, and when they pitched it to EA, EA is like, yeah, let's do this, but, oh, by the way, you know, you got to make it online, and, oh, by the way, you got to make it for the least common denominator, and, oh, by the way, you got to do this and all that and the other. And so they got caught in the big business of game development and, and focused more on the business side of it than on just pleasing the fan base that they had because they were trying to make games for people like my wife and, uh, uh, you know, just the average person and not somebody that is going to sit here and want to build a city in fine detail and, and have a lot of control over it. So... All that's backstory going back to here. You know, the more control you can give your players, and again, this is just my opinion, but uh, I think it's 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 a... I saw the train wreck that was SimCity 2013. And you look at SimCity 2013 and Sim uh, City Skylines. What's the really big difference between those two games? You know, I, there, there are some finite 
uh, finite differences, you know, in how the gridding system works, for instance. And there's some slight differences to how the roads work, um, you know, how they deal with sewage, that kind of thing. Um, certainly a lot, uh, a big difference in how they implemented uh, doing the the actual characters. Um, uh, what are you going to call your characters for your game anyway? Uh, I, I, the best thing I could come up with is City Bounders. I kind of don't like that, but um, I don't know. You can call them Citizens. I don't know. We, we, we got to come up with a good name uh, for it, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna call them Sims because I'm so used to doing that. Uh, I realize that that's uh, copyright infringement, but uh, I can do it even if you can't. So tough. Now, going back to my previous point, uh, I got a little bit of uh, ADHD going on here. Uh, you want to give as much control to your players as possible. Sim City 2013 said no you're going to do it in this little itty bitty box and this is the way you're going to play the game and we're going to create these big tall cartoony towers that connect with these big really weird sky bridges that would never ever happen in real life even in a million years and by the way we're going to charge you extra money to buy that expansion pack and they just they just piss people off and actually, if you look at my Reddit history, one, the, the, the single most upvoted thing I have is from an, I think it, it wasn't an AMA, but it was like a, they were doing a presentation on Reddit where, you know, they had a video and they were doing like a, it was live and you could ask any question. And I asked a question and it never popped up in the chat. And I asked another question and it wasn't like, I was being rude or something. I was asking questions like, okay, do you plan to implement, you know, this, that, and the other? I mean, it was really basic questions that, you know, everybody wanted to know. And it never came up in the chat, and they chose not to answer it. They let the suits control the PR story. And you go into City Skylines, and they gave you so much control and they had such great modding support which I know you're going to have for this game and I'm really excited about that I mean you already were talking about that just in the post for this update um, you know being able to have that fine uh, control um, to make the city be what you want it to be so if I want to play a game with city skylines I can play a game if I want to build the ultimate airport or seaport or rail yard, I can sit there and I can, you know, go over every single blade of grass, every single little um, asset and prop. I can make it look so photorealistic that literally people will not or, or, or can hardly tell the difference between real life and what's in the game and you got a, a whole area in between there too now I realize that this game city bound is not necessarily trying to be that and I love that you're not trying to be that city sidelines they've done that um, let's do something different and better let's do something that um, you know we can literally I, I, I remember what got me into this you posted on uh, Simtropolis I believe it was as I, I know you posted on Centropolis. I believe that's how I first found out about this game. And you posted this video of a city. And it was just a grid. It was just like a grid. Nothing special. And in the center was these really tall buildings. And then as you went out, it just kind of made the slow pyramid all out. But then you just kept on zooming out. And you just kept on going, and you just kept on going, and you just kept on going. And it was like, I think you had a million cars in there, and it was like your proof of concept way back, what was this, like 2013, 2012, I don't even remember, man. But it was really impressive with the concept of having no limit or a very, very 
absurdly high limit to the number of simulated characters. The fact that, you know, something that City Skylines doesn't do, SimCity hasn't done, no city uh, building game has done to this point, and something I know you already are doing in the game that I'm looking at right now, unfortunately I can't see it because, again, I've broken my inspection, but the pers they're, they're, the people who are living in this house... They get up and they go to work and they're at work and this, I can track that. And then they leave work and they're going to go to the grocery shop and they're going to buy some food and then they're going to go back home and they're going to go to sleep. And every single house here, every single city bounder is tracked and they are persistent and that's a big deal. That was supposed to be what happened with SimCity 2013. And it, they did not deliver on that. And they didn't deliver on that big time. They, they really went away from that. They ran away from that big time. Where here in this game, you're doing it, man. And I think that's fantastic. It's a great idea. So this is, to me, this is less about making a realistic-looking photorealistic city. It's more about tinkering and seeing what are the limits. What's the best way to design a city? Um, one of the things I've been asking for since the beginning, I, you, you go look back at archives and you'll see Architect and asking you questions about making sure that we get pedestrian stuff in here. Because what I would love to see is I'd love to see this game be just as robust for a pedestrian only city that shuns cars away you look at I guess it's called Millennial City it's in uh, the United Arab Emirates and they built this brand new city from scratch and they pushed away all the vehicles and in fact you have to park on the outskirts of town and then underground they have autonomous an autonomous taxi vehicle network where you push a button, kind of like an out of elevator. A little electric car that is on a predefined track comes, and you get in the car, and it, and you tell it the destination you want to go in the city, and it'll take you to where you want to go underground. And then once you get to ground level, it's all pedestrian, and the buildings are really close together because it's in the desert, and so it shades everybody. Um, you know, and they have the um, the cloth. Or the, or the canvas, no, uh, I mean, it is canvas, but what is it called? An awning. So they have the canvas awnings and different stuff to, and trees and all that to shade. And the trees are a big deal, too, because they evaporate. They create a hydro cycle with, between the buildings and, and helps humidify. And also water features are a big thing. I would love to be able to explore being able to build a city like that. Um just as much as the american suburbia that honestly i've been able to i've been able to do that with city skylines for a long time uh, i i i'm literally rendering right now a city where it looks like a, it was it's a very american city uh, partially because that's what i know um, and you can get very european cities going in city skylines too i know that but i tell you what i couldn't City Skylines is not able to replicate what you got going on in that that Millennial City or I think it was called Millennial City or Millennium City or something along those lines in UAE. But I'd love to be able to see something, see this engine be that or this game be that robust that you could you can tinker with that that much, push it that far, where my police officers and my fire and my trash and my, my my city services aren't reliant on vehicles any more than everybody else. And if I wanted to go pedestrian only, I could. And if I wanted to go with an American suburban, urban sprawl monstrosity like Houston, which is where I grew up, I can do that too. And everywhere in between. Um, I think that's my hope and vision for this game. Obviously, that doesn't matter because it's ultimately what you want to do with it, buddy. 
Um, but uh, I'll tell you, I'm excited. I really like the way it's looking so far. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on this guy. I'm gonna keep on this. I have talked your ear off for 45 minutes. Um, built a really funky, ugly looking city, and uh, uh, ugly looking because of the road layout, if nothing else. Um, so not ugly because of your game by any means. Thank you so much for, for doing what you do, man. Keep it up. Uh, if there's ever anything I can do to help you out, um, let me know. Guys that are watching, so I've been talking directly to Anselm uh, Eikhoff. I've been taking advantage of the fact that I know he's watching me. Um, but for everybody else that's watching too, I tell you what. Uh, make sure that you check this guy out. Make sure you check this game out. Um, make sure you go and become a patron that's a big thing uh this game is being developed by this one guy he's been doing it for years now in all these cities <laughs> and um i like the you know he's got the 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 code is open source it's going to be mod friendly um, it's going to allow you to tinker. It's going to allow you to really do things that no other city builder has ever allowed you to do. Um, and I'm really excited about the prospects of that. And I really, I love how involved I'm able to be. I mean, and long before I was ever a YouTuber, by the way. How involved that you'll be able to be in developing this game. And if you know how to code, he'll, he'll, Find you a place to, to help them code. It's open source. Get in there and start coding. Make something happen. Show show off what you can do. If you don't know how to code like me, best you can hope to do is make videos like this and hope that uh, somebody will watch them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off from there. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, make sure you, you hit the like button. You hit the little bell if you want to see when my next videos are coming out. Um, subscribe, obviously. And um, what do you think? Where should this game go? Um, what what visions do you have for City Bound? Uh, what do you want to see Mr. Eikhoff do? Uh, tell me in the comments below. And I'll be I'll be in there. And uh, if I think you're wrong, I'll I'll let you know. And if I think you're right, I'll let you know too. Um, just keep it silver, civil, the, and uh, yeah. Talk to you guys later.